Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. So this is another version of their Cobra in 135 scale and again I repeat that this one is different from what we were checking before. It's a 135 scale kit which comes in a quite popular sizing so it might be handy for some dioramas and as you can see we get the early production version. So it will be interesting to see what is uh, new here, which markings are included and why this kit is one of the best offerings if you would like to replicate this particular type. So first of all I have to say that it's a 53030 kit and as you can see we have a commercial sample here so it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So here is comparison with my hand. We have quite nice box art which is typical for ICM I would say. Here we also have some information about the real subject and also about the plastic kit. So if you will give me a second I will also check that here we get 226 parts and the finished model will be 459 millimeters so even though the scale is smaller it is still quite large project so keep it in mind and here we also get five marking options which are uh, included into this kit obviously they are not as sophisticated as in some aircraft kits but it's something you have to let's say cope with if you want to replicate the cobra and doesn't matter which scale you will pick those markings were chosen for those helicopters they were flying in those markings so i'm trying to open the box as you can see we have the plastic seals here and maybe in the meantime it would be a good moment to remind you that we also reviewed the late version of this kit so or this helicopter so you can find it in our youtube channel and actually the late version was the first one to be released in 135 scale so now we just continue with this lineup and it's a bit of a tight fitment as you can see I'm struggling to lift the top cover and I would say it happens with some ICM kits so just give me a second I'll try to do it off the table because it's a bit cumbersome and it will take some time if I will be doing it on extended hands okay uh, almost done okay so we have the cover printed top lid as you can see it's flexible that's why sometimes it sits really tight and it's really difficult to remove it. And what we have here is the sturdy white cardboard box which actually protects everything and here is what we have inside. So there is plenty of space and I really doubt that parts will arrive to you damaged. It's just a matter of, um, let's say, careful packaging and of course you will see if the box will be damaged. It's something what cannot be avoided even with the plenty of space inside. So it's a resealable plastic bag and just give me a second to open it. And actually I always say that resealable plastic bags are good for our hobby because they allow you to store the parts inside and you don't have to cut anything, you reduce the waste etc etc. So here we have the first grey plastic sprue. This one as you can see is dedicated to the fuselage house and we have both fuselage house molded together with a tail boom I would say not a fin because fin is molded separately. Here we have one piece cockpit tub, also some parts for internal components even some parts for the pilot seats so if I zoom in here you can see that we have external rivets on those parts we also have panel lines and also here you can check some cockpit uh, features which are coming out of the box by the way if I flip it over here you can check the pilot seats and if you flip it back so here is the cockpit base so out of the box you have some promoted features but obviously for 135 scale it might be a wise idea to go for P parts because they will provide you with uh, better details and in this size it matters because it will be visible so next we continue with the clear plastic sprue this one is packed into a separate plastic bag so I'm going to open it right now. I'm not sure if this particular version has the masks included or masking templates, which is typical for ICM. But as you can see, the molding quality of these parts is really nice. So here I don't have anything to complain about. And we can even open the canopy. So that might be a handy feature on a 135 scale build. So it's just a matter of masking all of this nice stuff somehow and of course keeping a nice paint work on your model. Next we continue with this sprue. So this one is dedicated to the mix of parts. Here I think we are safe 
zoom in out and check in what is actually included here. So we have two types of the landing gear rails. This is the bottom fuso edge panel. We also have some parts for the engine and also here is the main rotor parts. We have tail wings here, also the towing racks. So the towing rack actually one, it is included into the standard package and this is a really cool feature because it will be handy for uh, displaying your helicopter so that it won't be just standing without anything. Especially if you replicate it in the parks position, it makes even more sense. So next we continue with another plastic sprue, the large parts, the large panels, let's say. They are the main rotor blades and each side should be glued out of two halves. We also have two types of the tail fins, obviously only one will be used in this early version. And also we have some external fuselage panels, we have the tail rotor here, which is molded as a single part, by the way, so you don't have to join anything but do not be worried about those two piece parts because we have some smart guiding elements and it applies to all the elements which are divided into two halves so it's just a matter of careful combination of all of those things together and you'll be good to go next we continue with the pair of identical sprues so here you can see them, they carry the armament and this is something what I am always glad to see in ICM kits because here as you can see we have several types of the armament, we also have landing gear parts, also some parts for the engine but the external armament is a really good addition because obviously you will not be using all at once and some of those items will stay for your future projects and they are quite high quality so that's why I'm saying it's a useful bonus which will come handy in the future. Next we continue with decals which are packed or hidden in the assembly manual so here I will zoom in close the lenses a bit and here is the decal sheet. So as usual it is not mentioned where they are coming from but printing quality looks good. We also have this dashboard decals but no seat belts. So for the seat belts you will have to find some aftermarket PE or maybe some textile belts it will be up to you but again we have all the necessary symbols for five marking options even the stencils are included here so this is definitely a good thing. Next we continue with assembly manual. But before we start, I will zoom out a bit. So on the bottom of the box, we also have this small ad for the ICM paints. As you can see, they have full range of the paints. And by the way, they are making the special paint sets, which are designed specifically for the kit. So this is really handy in case you just want to buy the necessary paint colors and avoid any headache searching for some particular shade. So here we have the assembly manual short history note on the first page. Next we continue with the parts map. So here obviously the red color means that these parts will not be used. So that's something I like about ICM kits because they show the unused parts and this is really handy in our hobby. Next assembly process starts with the pilot seats and there are two of them that's why I'm saying pilot seats and as I said before it might be a good idea to get some PE upgrades for a better appearance. So we install all of this stuff into the cockpit here you can see the instrument panel and then we start working on the engine. There are plenty of parts included out of the box and it will be up to you if you would like to now let's say do some sophisticated finish on those but here you can see the next step we will be attaching this tail boom or tail fin into the tail boom and there are guiding pins so it should be quite easy to align them properly next we continue with the interior elements also here you can see some parts for the main uh, rotor sections or main engine sections and then we join the fuselage halves together also you can see some of the panels start going into the place here we have two assembly options for the nose um, cover. So as you can see we have the you know, one uh, marking option coming with a different uh, front plate. But the nose cone is assembled out of two halves. This is not cool to be honest but you have to be careful while joining these two halves. It would be better to have one piece part especially considering that we have whole belly of this helicopter molding as a single piece part. Next we continue with the wings 
and here you will have to decide which uh, loadout you will be choosing as you can see we also have some suggestions for particular marking options so that's why it will be important to pay attention to that next we continue with more parts being installed for the machine gun and next position lights here we install the landing gear rails and also the uh, canopy parts so I still do not see any masking template for the canopy parts but here we continue with the external panels as you can see you can also assemble them in the open position in case you would like to show what is inside your helicopter might be handy in this scale by the way or maybe useful for some diorama next we continue with some parts for the towing rack so those parts will be handy in case you are not depicting your helicopter in a flying position so here finally we have the mask template this is really great and we also have the armament assembly guide here the loadout scheme which is dependent on the marking option because this loadout scheme applies only to the marking option 5 next we have two markings here so this is a typical ICM profile as you can see we have helicopter depicted in all necessary views and here is the fifth version uh, which is the most colorful in my opinion so overall we get a really decent kit in 135 scale it should be already available and you can get it in Madenimax. i would be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye